Right, Jason, what's going on here then? I'm degreasing my box RS 600 <laughs> engine. What an entrance to today's video. Yeah. Um, wh <laughs> what? <laughs> so well, the car is at Martin's, the yeah. engine is here. But before I take this apart, yeah. I'm not getting any more oily. I've literally just cleaned the workshop, look. Go on, here we go. Let's go in. We've made a clean workshop. We are, I will say right now, we haven't actually done a video of what's over there. Spin it around fast. I was going around that way. <laughs> so, Go on. So we have a clean workshop. Oh yeah, so you've got like this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put a big metal bench here. Yeah. And then I'm going to take the engine apart. <gasps> You're going to take it apart? Oh, well, absolutely yes. Bleep right, yeah. Um, for me, I wouldn't do that because I haven't got a clue. Well, I know about CVHs. Yeah, it's fine. What, so racing gonna, CVHs, like take, that. Take it apart, inspect everything, yeah. reassemble what needs to be replaced. Yeah. But today is degrease day. Okay. We're covered in crap. Of course you are. But um, why won't you wear your nice shoes while you do it, mate? Yeah, don't stop. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, have you just bought them? And no, like, no, they're my old ones. Where, where, didn't you just buy them like a month ago and they're already... A year ago. Year, but one year. Was it? Really, yeah. though? Was it? Because it looks like they're the ones that you bought a couple of days ago. That's a nice t-shirt. But we're not going to go past the idea that they're brand new shoes and he's ruining them. Fine. It's fine. Is it, though? No. A lot of people out there would be like, mate, put some proper work boots on. Don't ruin your nice Jordans. No, it's fine. So, yeah, we're degreasing. Let's gloss past the idea of room shoes. We're, de we're degreasing. I need a metal table if you see one on the old Facebook. Send it. You know, like, a, like yeah. an old chef's table or something. Yeah, I know. And I mean. want it to be clean. Where they cut meat on. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of them. Meaty engines. Yeah. Meaty engines with meat and stuff. See, this is coming, <laughs> this is coming to bits. And then we're going to make it nice. Okay, I like that. But it's going to be like nut and bolt nice. Oh, as we're going in. We're going to polish it. Gonna po yeah, we're You're gonna polishing the engine? Yeah. yeah. The engine's getting it's a physical getting, polish. It's getting blasted, every single nut and bolt. Painted, polished. every nut and bolt's gonna be mint. So, that's quite far with this, but you like it, so that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, when people see the other car. Yeah. Well, the one that's over there that I can't show anymore. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do a full video on that, don't worry. You've probably seen it on his Facebook or Instagram or whatever. It's very lovely, but I feel like we need to just do a real good video. Or at least go and realise how lovely it is. Absolutely. bloody and, and having it sat there is not enough. That acid is, a, is too much for my <laughs> eyeballs. There's some serious acid eyeball stuff going on over here. It does my eyes in every time. I, I, when was the last time I did acid on the wheels? And it literally went in all my cuts in my fingers. And like, the pain was so bad. So yeah, this is happening. This engine has not been degreased, I don't think, since it was in the car. Oh really? Um, yeah, okay. we've taken a lot of product and we just can't get it clean, but we're getting there now. No, is it not so a... Two different degreasers. Two different degreasers? Yeah, we found this and one worked really well. That one. That one. <laughs> we're not saying that's good, but... Again. That one. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, <laughs> gloss past that. Um, yeah, so it's gloss. Got, do you get gloss. that? Gloss, gloss yeah. past it. Um, gloss. It, what, that and acid, yeah, will do. Yeah, it. and yeah. auto smart wheel acid. Cool. Is the one. Okay. So, next time you see this, yeah. it'll be in there. Yeah. Out like a laboratory table. Yeah. Clean. And I'll be like, what's this bit? And you'll be like, oh, yeah. uh. Main thing, <laughs> uh, uh, when, when it came out of the car, yeah. the engine was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing let it down was the management. So I'm hoping to inspect everything and I think, oh, actually, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really want to split it because no. it ran nice. Mm. So that seems pointless. Mm. But I am going to take the cam out and inspect the lobes because they're very cam dependent. 600i needs high duration lift mm. to give it that zing at the end. The cross so up. we need to make sure that the lobes are all the exact dimensions and there's no wear. Because right. when they do start to wear, You're it's done for. And then I'll be like, oh, Back out the car. Yeah. So while it's in bits, if we have to replace it with a, a newer Newnham cam, then I will. Mm. But I'm hoping that the OG4 one is still in the hole and we're all good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Also, really like this cover. The engine cover is so nice. Yeah, it? I know. It's like, like you open the bonnet on these and it which says, is, which is why it's not being Yeah. It's, it's going. Back Isn't that OG. like the most lovely thing ever? Because like is. things aren't like this anymore. No, they're not. So they're plastic. They're just they're plastic and horrible, and it doesn't say motorsport on it. And plastic, that's like a fantastic. cool thing, isn't it? Race it is. It's it is very race car. You're correct, actually. So get the old rush on there. Cleaning engines. Why not? Um, we will just, Jason. Can I just borrow you for one minute? Because although we're not going to show everyone the RS Turbo, I mean the car that you've bought. Right. 
<laughs> well, they, they'd have seen it on Facebook by this point. Yeah. Um, There's a door really... There is a door really close. Nick, what the light, mate. Um, so there's a blue car here, and there isn't a white car here. You know that one that we went all the way to Essex to buy? Yes. Did someone so, offer you some money for it? Yes. And did it go away? And this is all we're going to say about it. And did, sad time. did, no, the, no, no, did no. the bike go at the same time? It's gone. So everything's gone. It went as a package. But, for good reason. Right. The man... The was, guy that bought my Series 1... He was interested, and it happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. And now this is it, but I'm not going to show everyone. No. That's for another whole video, but you'll probably seen it on Facebook. Absolutely. But yeah, so the white car went. Um, that money is going to be going into a more modern Fiesta for my daughter. Yeah. And then the excess money from the van, and a bit of that money will be going into the. And oh look, we've fallen into this. Oh, I can't show everyone. No. No, because it's his own video. Wait till next week. Yeah. Well, it's his own video, but Jason accidentally after accidentally putting it on some forum things on Facebook, accidentally went to Doncaster and accidentally paid a man and accidentally came home with it. Accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> accidentally on purpose. Um, I drove this the other day. Oh my God, it's like brand new. Like, it's not even a joke how brand new it is. It's not a joke. It's not even funny. And you've just taken it all the way to Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch. And, and had a jolly good time. You said it was like brand new. Better. So... In theory, the trade up from what was that white four door that we went all the way to Essex and enjoyed, and it was like a one owner, yeah. 20,000 mile thing, um, and then made it cool. Well, I'm not going to say replace, it's been superseded. Yeah, I think it's definitely gone up a level, and to replace it, this is the only thing that could replace it. Absolutely. So there's that, but it, again, <laughs> I'm going to say it's going to be its own video, sorry in advance, but. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really nice. I'm just going to gloss past yeah. this. I'm not going to show them. I'm not going to show them. There's a Range Rover here. That's cool. But also, in this bay was my Maserati Quattroporte. And as you can see, it's not here anymore. And that is because I've just had a bid on it from someone that you guys may well know very well. And uh, it left the premises, which is a bit odd. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit weird. I feel a bit weird about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. We'll see. We'll see where we go. So, lovely. He's just telling me to buy his Mini out here. Look at this Mini, it's pretty cool. For the R56 people out there. It's a bit dirty, mate. Bit dirty, bit dirty. Yeah, it's cool that. BBS's, mate. BBS's. Not much of a detailer, no. Are they all genuine BBSs or? Are they? They're real life BBSs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. What, split rim? Yeah. God, he's got split rims on this. Are they BMW ones? Are they BMW split rims? No? <laughs> I don't think he liked that. Anyway, <laughs> enough about split rims. I'm just going to avert your eyes to this, which is Jason's dad's Volvo. If you guys remember very well, a few years back, we went and bought this for his father because he had one very similar when he was uh slightly younger he bought one pretty much brand new actually from volvo this is actually currently for sale i have already been through the motions in my head so whether i should buy it but i'm not going to i'm not going to do it i'm not going to put the pressure on myself to buy this it is very lovely though and if you are very interested you can go to jason's jw auto shine page it will be on there it's currently for sale four and a half grand at the moment it would, of course, take a bid on it. It's a very cool car, though. I'm not going to bore you guys with it because there might be a lot of people out there that are not that interested, but the seats are amazing. It's got good mileage, and it is, as you can just about see, a red line. So, yeah, red line, Volvo 340 right bumpers, red lines going all the way across it. So, yeah, that is available right now. If you would like to buy it, that would be good. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.